Well, the polls are tightening as only days remain the U.S. presidential race. Nominees and their surrogates are flocking to swing states like Florida, North Carolina, and Arizona. Maria Madialo has more. In this final stretch, both Republican and Democratic nominees are pushing hard, and so are their surrogates. For the first time since the conventions, Melania Trump stumps for a husband she's known for 18 years. Love for this country is something we immediately shared with when I met Donald. He loves this country and he knows how to get things done, not just talk. He certainly knows how to shake things up, doesn't he? In Miami on Thursday, President Obama reminded the crowd they don't have to wait until election day to exercise their civic duty. What does that say up there? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. What does it say up there? You know, I'm still not hearing it. What, what? Vote early. If you are registered, you can vote right now. But Republican Party nominee Donald Trump who's also been campaigning in Florida, says the president shouldn't be there. This guy ought to get back to the office and stop campaigning. Voting in the Sunshine State could determine the outcome of the election. Florida is a pivotal state with 29 electoral votes out of the 270 needed to win the presidency. Real change begins with immediately repealing and replacing Obamacare. As the Republican candidate vows to repeal one of the president's signature policies, the, the commander-in-chief says it's all talk. They want to repeal because ideologically they're opposed to the idea of helping these 20 million people get health insurance. It's not like they don't even have a pretense of a plan. They don't even have a semblance of a plan. There's not even a hint of a plan. Not even a moat, not even a, there's no plan, nothing, zero, nada. Democratic candidate Hillary Clinton campaigned Wednesday in Arizona, a state that has voted Republican for the past 68 years, except once. Arizona has only voted for a Democrat for president once since 1948. And that was my husband in 1996. Clinton says her campaign has a real chance to once again win the state's 11 electoral college votes. Mariama Diallo, VOA News, Washington.